would like to address the board. Ms. Santos, thank you. We appreciate it. Everybody knows who I am. I'm Grizel Santos, and I live at 13 Shut Road, and hopefully my mailbox won't get trashed. Um, I am here today, and I will be here every two weeks until this matter gets resolved. Um, I just, I've done a lot of homework, and I wanted to read a couple of things. Um, and all of these things are in your government website of education. It talks about when students come to school worried about bullying, they can't learn. Okay, that's my child. That's why we strongly support the Senate Bill 1138, a comprehensive safe school climate bill before the Connecticut General Assembly. Those are things that we have in our safe school climate. Um, we talk about procedures, you know, how to report them, the chain of command, who do we go through. Um, and yet it's not classified as bullying. So where do we classify it? Who's responsible for classifying it? If it's not being classified that way, then how do we classify it? Who, who, who's going to answer to me? You know, um, I've been through the chain of command. You said you talked about the chain of command earlier. Um, I have a list of names. I can name seven to eight people in the chain of command that I have addressed my concern for my child. And we're looking into it. We're working on it. it need, we need time. Have trust in us. We're taking care of your child. Yesterday, I had to sit in the parking lot of the school to watch over my child because he was threatened by another student, two students. I had to call the police. So how is my child being protected? To what extent are we going to take this matter? Is my son going, am I going to get a call and pick him up in an ambulance at the, in front of the school lobby? Because obviously I'm here because I'm making a statement about something that happened to my kid. You know, people in the patch are responding crazy thoughts. It's playing time. You know, your kid's not good enough to be on the basketball team. Or whatever they want to say, I really don't, it doesn't matter. But the whole point is that my son's civil rights have been violated repetitively by this board not you, the board, but the school system. I have gone through the right, but the, the I, I'm just gonna and I, and I know I sense your frustration. And I sense your passion. I'm just gonna say that when you give us information, then if we have to sit and and look at this but case, but I, I I don't know how much more to wait. Am I going to wait for my child to get hurt? Be, I mean, another week, two weeks. This has been going on since November 29th that we had the first incident. We had multiple incidents. The last one was February. We are now in April. We had another one yesterday. Am I going to wait till my child is picked up on the school ground, stabbed, shot, stepped on, beaten up, thrown in the woods, and who is going to answer to me? Because all these policies and procedures will do me no good. They're not going to do me any good. And there's no money in the world that I can sue you for that can replace that child. So. That's my frustration, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm tired of jumping, you know, over loops, pulling out red tape, and being, I feel I'm being looked at like I'm some crazy maniac. I'm not, I'm advocating for my child. My child has the courage that everything that that tree right there says, he's standing in front of you, proclaiming, I need help, something is wrong, please help me, and it's not, he's not getting an answer. He's not getting support. We're getting support from people that don't even know us on a personal level. These are people from the community that know Angel from look, look, seeing him at the sports. They know what kind of devoted parents we are. My husband is a military, responsible man, and the community has stepped up. The people that I let spend time with. So I'm saying to you, and I am eager, and I'm asking you, follow that. That cultivating character that is my child, and we need to protect him. Janet, because that is something to be proud of. Janet, can you give Mrs. Santos an answer of when you anticipate resolving? I did just before the meeting. And can I you did let the board know it. when we can? Well, as I said, that. we started. Uh, we we started writing the report, mm -hmm. and as I mentioned to John's question, I had two more people contact me today. Okay. Um, I can write the report and not talk to those people, or I can talk to those people and then write the report. Afterwards. When do you anticipate meeting with those people? Um, 
we're trying to get them in right now. Okay. Um, I, I have a family situation. I will be leaving Thursday, okay. um, and so I need to take care of that situation. And okay. I'm trying to get it done by tomorrow. Okay. But I can't make a commitment. Okay. Um, there, but I did explain that to Mrs. Santos. Yes. Okay. She did explain. Could, could we expect that by March, or, or not March, our May 1st board meeting that we would oh, have absolutely. the issue resolved? Uh, we, we will be meeting with Mrs. Santos and have everything written well, yeah, before then. Um, Debbie. Yes. Um, I don't know if you have holiday um, next week so that'll help calm things a little but that Monday there there should be st a statement made so that the students and the community and whatever know that this is the decision that has been made um, I, that would be what I would like to see rather than let's go right. for another week with the kids in school and whatever, it's, I don't think it's necessary. Shanna, does that have something to do? It, well, it's, yes, we, we certainly are working toward that. We've had six adults who spent a great deal of time interviewing members of teams, coaches, other people in the community who've come forward with some information. So we're trying to be very conscientious and do our due diligence here to make sure that that, that the rights are protected and and the, and the students are protected. Mm -hmm. and um, and. Discipline issues, meanwhile, are taken care of if an incident should occur. Okay. They they still are intermediate steps. It doesn't preclude things happening so, in terms of follow through. We have two issues here. The first issue is my son was bullied, and we need to fix it. The second issue is that his civil rights are broken. So your investigation needs to include two aspects. There's two things going on here, and I want to make that clear. I don't want to get an answer and then have to go back. I want it clear. So, I mean, we talk about policies and procedures. Everybody, you know, the news, everyone that can hear me, the Connecticut Code of Professional Ms. Responsibility. Ms. Santos, if you turn around and speak that oh. way, the microphone can't Connecticut Code of Professional Responsibility for School Administrator, Administration. This is a code of conduct that they have to follow for your kids. Go online and look it up. It's in the Connecticut um, State Department of Education. Read it. That's what I'm advocating, you know. Go online and look up the Safe School Climate Control. Read it. That's what I'm here for. Go on online and look at the Connecticut State Department of Education um, strategic, strategic School Profiles and look at the 2007 to 2008, 2008 to 2009, 2009 to 2010, disciplinary offenses against Newtown High School. We've had an increase from 221 totals in 2007 08 to going to 2009 2010 to 290. And the student body is the same, hasn't even increased by 1%. So you tell me if the administration in that environment is following procedures because we have school policy violations from 137 in, in 2007 to 215 in 2009. That is more than 50, that's almost more than 50% increase. That means that someone's not doing their job. Physical and verbal com confrontation, eight in 2007, three in 2008, and in 2010 is back up to 10. That means that someone's not doing their job. So when I look at all these numbers and I see what my son's going through and what I've been going through, something's wrong with the system. It's broken. It needs to be fixed before my child is broken. Thank you for your time. Thank you.